All right, this is it. Time for us to go down for breakfast. It's completely too early in the morning. It's 6.55 <laughs> right now. Oh, we gotta be at our table right now. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but that was it. We're leaving the wish now. Yeah, this was- I this... don't want to leave. I know. Neither do I, buddy. Oh no, buddy. You said? Somebody else is gonna be in our room today. Somebody else is gonna have a fun vacation. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's not nice. I feel like Jackson would live on a cruise ship if he could. I think so. He's had a lot of fun on this trip. Oh, <laughs> buddy. I don't want to leave either. This was, a, yeah, this was a really great cruise. Yeah. So we're headed down to Worlds of Marvel right now to mm -hmm. get some breakfast. Let's do it. There it is. Our Disney Cruise Line Terminal. Jackson looked outside and he goes, oh, there's a lot of RVs out there. <laughs> He's talking about these Disney Cruise Line buses. This is the first time that Jackson has been like, conscious of the numbers for our room. And he keeps going, I don't want to leave the 32 one. So, dang. But they're ready to start cleaning it up for us. Jen brought Jackson some confetti back from the Little Mermaid show last night. Jackson, what are you he has it in his hand. He's not letting go of it. I'm gonna miss this ship. We'll be back soon, but like, I do like it. I like the wish. I like the look of the wish. And I like all of the different little details. And I can't wait to play this. Hopefully it'll be ready by the next time that we're on the ship. People are already starting to line up to leave the ship. All right, one last time into Worlds of Marvel for breakfast this morning. It is funny coming into a restaurant and there's still show lighting happening even though it's the next morning. Like normally when we come to these, the final M debarkation day breakfasts, there was like outside light coming in and there's no outside light for this restaurant. These Don't be bringing any products, animal products off, of the, ship. off that, the ship. If you have like any of these yeah, items, like bacon. Can't bring, bring any bacon off the ship. I won't. <laughs> I eat all my bacon. <laughs> yeah. This or fruit. Or live animals. Any lost oh, and found no. items from this yeah. voyage. <laughs> Alright, I forgot to show. We, already ate, we all already ate a croissant. But I also got a chocolate chip muffin here. And then some orange juice. And some decaf coffee. And then decaf coffee and cranberry juice. Breakfast is looking good this morning. Oh, and then in my fruit bowl too. I forgot I ordered so much stuff. I got some fruit, I got an omelet, I got some bacon, got some sausage, got some hash brown, got some extra bacon, got some pancake. Jen got some over easy eggs, ham, hash brown, pancakes. Jackson got some waffles, bacon, and hash browns. Croissant. Lynn got just eggs and uh, tomato and fruit and toast. And Jen got some white toast too. Well, I ordered pancakes to split with you. I didn't know you ordered oh. them too. That's okay. Have we had a great time? Do you hear so, Mickey? From me and the gang and the whole crew, so long, and we hope to see ya real soon. Well, he's not in here. He was just on the intercom. <laughs> I think he's looking around for Mickey Mouse. Try to find him. He's like, maybe he's gonna come on the TV. He's just on the loudspeaker, buddy. Yeah, he was just on the intercom. He's up at the up captaining the ship still. Oh, I didn't realize this thing is like 3D. That's neat looking. It's like 3D without glasses. Uh oh. They're probably telling us we need to get off the ship. Well, hi, oh, it's Goofy! Gorge! If you can hear me, we sure had a great old time sailing with you. And Thanks, hope to Goofy. see you again soon. Alright, now we are headed to the Grand Hall. Trying to figure out where we go to get off the Oh, we just walk <laughs> off the ship now. We have to go around. But we just walk up. There's no line, but we do have to walk around the, the other side of the stage. Oh, I didn't see this. When the slide is closed, it has like a special cage over it. There's a sign here that says, Guests with these luggage tags may now disembark. And we are Tinkerbell, so we are heading off the ship. All right, see you later, Bayou. I really did like this, this lounge here. It has such a cool look to it. And they always had really good music in here. See you later, $4 million necklace. <laughs> we'll see you next time, probably. There it is, we are now off the ship. Back on, no, not quite dry land yet. A little bit of water still out there. And now we're just waiting in line to go get our luggage and then make it through customs. This is a sad little buddy. Not wanting to get off the cruise ship. It's okay, bud. We're gonna come back soon. All right, we made it through customs. <laughs> and now we are like officially 100% off of the Disney Wish. Honestly, that was like, very quick. Yeah, it was a pretty easy The last trip time that customs. we cruised, we were on concierge, and I feel like this took just the same amount of time. Yeah, I think so, we did like kind of linger in breakfast a little bit longer than so most we people would. Yeah, missed the, the rush. missed the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. It was so easy. But still, it's only 8:30. 8:40. Oh, 8:40. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this was amazing. I I feel like that was very like stress-free. 
I loved it. Yeah, footloose and fancy free. It was, yeah, we're just dancing our way over to the car. So, it's a few days later. We've had some time to ruminate on our cruise. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be going over with you guys today, our haul, number one, all the stuff that we bought on our Disney Wish cruise, and our final feelings and like our pros and cons and stuff like that about the Wish and the overall experience. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna start off with the, uh, the merch first. Okay. And the very first thing that we got handed on the cruise ship when we first walked on was this. And this is a Disney Wish magic wand. And I feel like they had these wands at Cinderella's Royal Table too, but they didn't say Disney Wish. I honestly can't remember. We went to Cinderella's Royal Table so many years ago, so I'm not totally sure on that. But the cute thing about this was is that they gave them to all the kids got them, but mm -hmm. also uh, some adults, if you asked for one, they would give you one. But it was just really cute because when they did the little show that happened, there's like a little, I wouldn't even call it a show. Like a, an entrance. Yeah, so not the Experience. part where you see Mickey, but it was the part where you see the the storytellers. Right. And so she kind of was like, you know, now you're you're starting your Disney wish. Yeah. And everybody put up their magic wands. It was a really cute moment. And then the, the chandelier did a thing. Yeah. So, so it was cool. I yeah. liked it. So this was something that was free that we got on the cruise. And it was a cute little, you know, fun thing. Yeah. And then the next thing that we got, which I thought was actually really neat, as soon as we made it to our stateroom, because we're Castaway Club members, and Castaway Club is the, it's it's a club, but you don't have to actually join. It's just like as soon as you go on a Disney cruise, by your second Disney cruise, you're in the Castaway Club. You're like a repeat cruiser. Right. Yeah. So you start out with silver, and that's cruises one through five. Mm -hmm. And then from five to ten, you're gold. And then from ten on up, you're platinum. Yeah. So we're gold now. And as gold members, we got two things in our stateroom. Mm -hmm. So I believe that everybody that was a silver member and above got this, which is a very large tote bag. And it's kind of, it's, it feels like it's not insulated, but it's like not, waterproof. it's definitely not insulated. Yeah. I think it would be like waterproof or water resistant on the inside. Like maybe a little bit. Everybody on Castaway Key brought these with them. Yeah. So it was definitely a good bag to have for Castaway Key. And I feel like the space is better used than the previous. Oh, than the backpack? Than the backpack. It's like yeah. a one shoulder backpack. I'm sure you guys have seen it around. It's like this blue yeah. backpack. You probably um, have one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this was really nice to have just to be able to bring you know, your waters, your snacks, you know, whatever you were bringing onto the island, your towels, sunscreen, that kind of stuff. We used it and it was definitely good to have. Yeah, it's a good size. We'll use it again, I'm sure. And I like that it says inaugural sailings too. Yeah. And I believe that that'll probably go away. I think so. Like by the time that, I don't know how long the inaugural sailings are. Yeah, I don't know. Like how long is it inaugural? Yeah, but then they oh. also gave us these things, which we still can't quite figure out. These were inside of the bag. Well, it said that they were towel bands. Yeah. But then when we were leaving the ship, we saw people had put them on the outside of their luggage. Right. So. Like one of those like clips that like holds your luggage closed in case your in case in case your zippers fail. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't get it, but it's you know, it's cool. I thought it was like a sash that you would wear to dinner. Just to tell everybody. Just to tell everybody. I'm, I'm here on the. In case you don't know, I'm <laughs> here on this cruise. In case you don't know. Yeah. Here I am. So yeah, those were ones that silver members got. And then as gold members, we got this little wallet too. So this is cool because it's like a travel wallet and it was good to have on the cruise, but you can put like your passports, your money, your cards. Yeah. Um, Pens, any, yeah, any sort of things. documents. Yeah. Your, your proof of vaccine. We already have one of these that I think is much better quality than this one, but um, this is a nice gift. Yeah. Like I'm sure that we'll use it. I'm sure we'll use it. And I like this color scheme better than the actual merch, Wish merch color scheme. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, so the Wish merch color scheme is kind of like this red and gold and blue. Yeah, I, I think that, and I, we talked about this in one of the videos, but I wasn't a huge fan of the Wish merch. I, I hope that they come out with new merch that's, I don't know, better looking. I hate to say that, but it's just not my favorite. Right. Yeah. But we did buy some things, just not from that line of merch. Right. So yeah, these are the, those were the things that we got for free on the cruise. Yeah. So as you might know, whenever we do like a Disney staycation or something like that, we always try to get a, like a themed picture frame so that we can put a picture from the trip in the frame. So we wanted to find a wish specific frame. And this is the one, they had a few of them, but this is the one that I like the most. Yeah. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just like wood with like a little wood carving that says Disney Wish. 
I thought it was pretty fun. But also the funny thing is, is that, and I think we said this in our last trip haul, we haven't put any of the frames up. Right. Well, the interesting thing or good thing about this one is it does have the ability to hang it on a wall yeah. too. This one's kind of strange that they kind of stick up above it though. I wish they had put them down a little bit further so they'd be hidden on the wall. But I do really like the frame. This was 30 bucks. $30 frame right yeah. there. So we got that frame from Mickey's Main Sale, which is like one of the main gift shops on the ship. And that was actually the one that the day that we boarded the ship, there was like a line to get into Mickey's Main Sale because people were, which I kind of wish we had gotten in the line because I thought I was like, oh, it's silly. Like, why are you wasting your time waiting to get into the gift shop when it's open the entire cruise, like right. when we're not at port. But then I realized all the sizes were gone. Right. So like the shirts that we did like, the sizes were like long gone by the time we got into the shop. So on one of the other days, we headed into uh, Dory's Forget-Me-Nots, which was the gift shop just outside of like the pool deck area. Just outside of Marceline Market too. Yeah, and so you found some stuff that you yeah. liked. I found this is the Wish shirt that I liked. And it's like a like a Wish You Were Here postcard. I think it's really, with, I like the color. Yeah, and it has the Wish in the font of the ship. Yeah. So I like this, it was cool, this is $24.99. That's on the that's on the front. There's nothing on the back. So it's like a, I like this print here. It's cool. Simple, easy, nice. And of course, you know, we had to get Jackson a few things. So we got him this Aqua Mouse shirt for 20 bucks. And it says, what does it say? Scuba Scramble. So this was the version of the Aqua Mouse that I went on. So the Aqua Mouse changes throughout the cruise. Well, it's the screens show different, what is that? What do you call that? It's not a pre-show. Like shorts, Mickey shorts, as yeah. you're going up the lift hill. So one of them has like the Yeti, one of them has the Kraken, that's the one that you saw. And I think there's a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the next time that we go on the Wish, we gotta go on the, the Aqua Mouse more to try to see them all. Yeah, well, I, I won't be able to go on it, but- Well, eventually you will. Yeah, 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 one day, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. And so a lot of people were asking, actually, we did a live show yesterday and the day when we got back from the cruise, we did a live show talking about the wish. And if you haven't seen that live show, people were asking, did you like the Aqua Duck better or the Aqua Mouse better? And the Aqua Mouse is much better than the Aqua Duck. Yeah, do you think? Yeah. Cause I read some, some people had some differing thoughts on that. Really? Yeah, that they like the Aqua Duck better. The Aqua Duck is so slow to me. Was it, was it slower than the Aqua Mouse? Yes. Okay. The Aqua Mouse has a couple of uppy downies. Mm. And I feel like the duck just has one. That's a technical term. Uppy downies, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I was interested to, to see people's thoughts on it. Yeah. And then we also got, and this is actually, it's kind of a bummer, but it's also kind of cool. This is a shirt that we got in Jackson size that is specifically uh, like geared towards the, the Uncharted Adventure, Disney Uncharted Adventure, which is the interactive like, game on the ship that wasn't available when we were on the ship. It wasn't right. it wasn't ready for guests to play it. So if you guys remember when we went on the Dream and the Fantasy, we played the Mickey's Midship Mysteries. Right. Which was like a cool interactive game where you take a card and you go to these like digital photo frames and you sort of like solve the mystery of there were different mysteries, but the mystery that we solved was about the missing puppies. Right. And so this is sort of similar in that you're it's an interactive game with I don't know if it's cards. No, I don't think it is. I think it's just hand gestures. Is it? I think okay. so. But well, I think it also involves the Disney Play app. Ah, maybe that's why it wasn't ready. Maybe. Okay. That's kind of a silly thing to rely on, like, the internet. Right. When you're... And I don't think it's actually relying all the way on the internet. I okay. think it's relying on in intranet. Oh, okay, okay. So, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be up and running by the next time that we go on The Wish. You never know. But this was just, like, a funny piece of merch to me because... Um, it wasn't available. You couldn't, right. you couldn't play the game. <laughs> and this is also one of the shirts that was available in a lot of sizes well, yeah, because, because of that. Because nobody, everybody's nobody knew like, what it was. what is that? So this was a $20 shirt. How much was the other one? The Aqua Mouse one? That one was $20. Okay. Yeah. But I, uh, I'm excited for Jackson to play the game and wear the shirt because I think he'll really like the game. Yeah. So, and then the last one that we found was again for Jackson. And this was part of the Wish inaugural, um, uh, sailings like merch. And this is like a, a I wouldn't call, I would almost call this like a luxe tee because okay. it's it's thicker. It feels like it's much better quality than the other t-shirts. And then it has this yeah, anytime you got one of these little things down here on the bottom of the shirt. Yeah, it's like luxury. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean though? And then the um, the tag actually has the inaugural wish sailings like on the tag. Oh yeah. And this shirt was 24.99. So you know it's luxury because it was $5 more. $5 more. 
But it feels like some of the merch that I got in Tokyo Disneyland. Yeah. Like just how, how thick it is. It also has the Disney Wish logo here on the sleeve. I don't even know if I can get that to like, there it is. And this was one of the only shirts that we could find in extra, extra small, which is Jackson's like actual size. The other two shirts that we got are ones that he's going to have to grow into. Right. But I thought this was a cool shirt. Yeah, it's got like a Captain Mickey. I think it's Captain Mickey, right? Yeah, yeah, Captain Mickey as like a constellation. Well, it's kind of almost like a like a drafted drawing of him. Oh, yeah. I guess he is kind of like a constellation. Yeah. Oh. Because he's using the stars to guide him. Yeah. He's, right? he's following his heart. He's doing this. Yeah, he's Moana. He is Moana. He's a wayfinder. Yeah. I don't know. So I thought that was one of the cooler shirts um, for, for kids. I wish they had stuff like that for adults. Right. So hopefully next time we go, they'll have some new merch. And then Tim. Yes, I've been looking for this shirt for at least two cruises now. It says, it's so good, cookies, barbecue. And it's You'll got, come back for more. And it's got Castaway Key, and then it's got Goofy on it, and then the front it just says Cookies Barbecue. And Cookies Barbecue is the name of the restaurant on Castaway Key, and every single time we've eaten there, it has been delicious. I wouldn't say it's like the best food that we've had on our cruises. No, but, but it's it good. It's like a barbecue. It feels kind of like you're at your house and you're having potato salad and a burger and a yeah. hot dog, and it's just like nice to have on like a hot day at the beach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And unlimited ice cream. Oh, yeah. Until two. <laughs> Until two. <laughs> Until yeah. two. Um, so, but it's kind of like a niche shirt. So I think it's really... I, the reason why I like it is because a lot of people are going to be like, what the heck is this? Right. You know? So it's like kind of a niche thing. Right. So I, don't, I think it's kind of a cool, cool thing. Yeah. I like yeah. it. And I like the goofy on the back, too. Yeah. It's a fun shirt. So the last thing that we got that was available in the gift shops mm -hmm. was this Tervis. It was like insulated stainless steel Tervis. It is part of the, the Make-A-Wish line, so 10% of the profits from this were donated to Make-A-Wish, or every sale. And it says Inaugural Cruises. And I think they're donating through, like, 2025? I think so. Yeah, so for, it, for a couple of years. And it's got Mickey and Minnie on, on there, and they're looking at the Wish. It's cool, and it kind of feels like the Constellation-type vibe with a couple of stars in there and kind of like a lot of circly things. I don't know, it's a cool design and I like the color of it. It's one of the metal turvices as well. So it's like you could have um, hot beverages in there as well as cold beverages. And it's kind of just like more heavy duty, a little more sturdy. Right. And this one, because it is a turvis, so turvis is a name brand of this type of cup. Mm -hmm. And they are a little bit more expensive because they're higher quality. This is uh, $27.99 for this cup. Turvises also have a lifetime warranty. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. The one thing I will kind of say that's just to be a little bit critical of Disney is I think that they could have given more of each sale to make a wish because the make a wish like limited edition merch is such a small like amount of merch. Right. It was like a couple of t-shirts, a cup, and then some adaptable ears. I just, I feel like they're not going to be selling a ton of these things. Right. So they could have maybe just upped that to a higher percentage to make a wish. Just just my opinion. It's just my opinion. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because you know they're making a ton of money on the other merch. Right. You know they are. So they're, they wouldn't be losing a ton of money if they gave more to charity. Right. Does that make sense? Right. Just my thoughts. But I'd love the cup. And then the last things that we got were actually souvenir cups. Yes. So uh, the first one is... This thing is darn adorable. It is a little Porg Tiki mug. So although we didn't like necessarily love the Hyperspace Lounge, and I think that was solely because we had already been on the, the Star Cruiser, the, it just it wasn't as impressive as I think it, it could have been if we had never been on the Star Cruiser. But the, the little souvenir cup is really cute. It looks like it's carved out of wood. Yeah. But it is made of ceramic. I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to break it. Yeah, and it says <laughs> Hyperspace Lounge on it. So the other souvenir cup mm -hmm. doesn't say Hyperspace Lounge. It actually says Galactic. Star Cruiser, yeah. Galactic Star Cruiser on it. It's, so. And it's one of the cups that you could get on the Galactic Star Cruiser, which I thought was really funny. Yeah, and this one specifically says Disney Cruise Line. So the only thing about this cup that I didn't love is that you, when you get the drink inside, you can't see the drink. And the drinks are, are meant to like look cool. So right. when you get them in the clear cups... You can see the the different colors in the drinks. You can see one had ice cream. Like it just had like the, a cooler look. But when you put them in these cups, you can't you can't see the drink. So you, you just see the cup. Right. 
And this is like a matte feel to it, too. Mm -hmm. So it's not shiny, except for the eyeballs. Yeah. And I think this would be a cool, like, knick-knack. You, like, maybe put some pens in it or a succulent or something like that. You know right. what I mean? I don't think I would use this as, like, a, an actual cup. It would be more of a display piece. Okay. And then the last thing that we got from Worlds of Marvel yeah. was this. Uh, this what, is the, what do they call these? They called this the core assembly? The PIM particle core assembly? Oh, no. I forget the name. It says, keep containment valve sealed. So this was basically the container that um, Ultron was trying to get. He was trying to get these when he was on the ship. And he was trying to use the energy from these things to, like, take over the ship. Right. He was trying to do something. Yeah. Something nefarious, for sure. So then Ant-Man, we helped Ant-Man out by pushing the button so that the button. all of them, like all the energy happened at the same time in order to defeat the Ultron bots. Right. So that's that's how we, we saved the day. We did it. Yeah, so they did. only defeated the one Ultron bot. Oh, right, right, right. The, uh, the main Ultron. Right, okay. So it does have, it, it does light up. As you can mm -hmm. see, there are three different settings where it just it does the, the, trace, the chasing thing, the flashing thing, and then just solid on. And then the top pops open and there's a little straw in there. This thing is hard to clean though. So I wish they had, so when we got the Porg cup, they gave us a new one. They actually gave us one in the box, in the, in the bubble wrap that had never been used. So we didn't actually take home the one that we drank out of. Right. Whereas with this, we took home the one that we drank out of. So I wish that they had given us like a new one. Right. And this had pineapple juice and ice cream in it. Yeah. And like, like I, dairy. Yeah. I opened it up and I scrubbed it out with our bottle brush. Mm -hmm. And then it still smells like pineapple inside of it. And but... like water got all inside of this thing here. And so like, I think it's like a little bit harder to make sure that you have like a fully clean one when you get home. But I don't think we're going to use this to drink out of. Again, I think this will just be for display purposes. Right. And I'm also wondering, does the 62 mean anything? I don't know. And then on the bottom, I thought this Did was they... kind of neat. It says uh, Disney Cruise Line Edition number one. Ooh. Avengers Quantum Encounter, which Avengers Quantum Encounter was the show that we saw in Worlds of Marvel. The, like with Ant-Man and the Wasp and Miss Marvel and, and Captain America. Which I thought was interesting because... Because the show has a specific name, mm -hmm. that means that they don't have to change the restaurant right. name to change the show. Yeah, so eventually when more phases of Marvel come out, you know, it could be that you see a different a different show in Worlds of Marvel. Yeah. Which I think would be really neat. I think it would that be would, awesome. Because we talked about it a little bit on the ship where the Worlds of Marvel uh, dinner and the show was amazing. It was the, the best dinner show that we saw by far. But it didn't really have the repeatability because once you've seen it, you've seen it. Right. You know, so when we go on the next Wish Cruise, it won't be as exciting as it was the first time. Still might be exciting for kids, though. Oh, sure. I think kids are going to love it. Jackson's going to have a great time. But um, so it's it's neat to think that you could get a totally different show one day. Right. And we have no insight to that. No. But I but do know sense, that though. the yeah I do know that the cores are removable from the table. Like they're mm -hmm. not wired to the table or anything like that. Because we went in there for breakfast oh, in this video. Yeah. And they were gone. That's true. And I saw them because they have to like take them back and charge them, I guess. Maybe there's like a big charging area for them. Because they were neat because they, they not only did they light up, they interacted with the show and they vibrated the table, mm -hmm. which I thought was really neat. And they were also super heavy. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, so I mean, that's something to look out for is maybe, maybe one day in the future, it'll be a different thing on the table. Who knows? All right. So now the moment of truth. <laughs> what did you think of the Disney wish? So I talked about this in um, yesterday's video, I think, but I, I the wish is great. I had a great time. I think that the memories that we made are, are what made me love the wish so much, but I don't think the wish is my favorite ship. I think that the fantasy will always be like number one in my heart. And I think that the wish is a really strong number two, but I think the fantasy is still my number one. I think the wish definitely has some issues, definitely has some problems, mm -hmm. some Spots that are very confusing for navigating. Yes. Yeah. But once you get a hang, once you get the hang of it, mm -hmm. like by day two, and that's like day one is just a half day, really. Yeah. So by day two, you got it. You know where you're going. And you'll, uh, I don't know if you know where you're going. For the most part. <laughs> okay. There are some places that are kind of hidden and like, oh, you stumble upon them. You're like, oh, look at this. I didn't know this was here. Right. But I think day one, you're going to spend a lot of your day trying to figure out where you're going. Right. And I think that for me, I the one thing that really 
stuck with me that I was like, oh, I, you know, I kind of am not loving this is, so Jackson is two and a half. He's not old enough to go into the Oceaneers Club unless it's an open house day. Right. And he's a little bit too old. He could go into the small world nursery. Like he's, he's within that age range, but I think he's too old and too advanced for that. I just don't think he would have a good time. I wouldn't want to like take him to the nursery. Right. You know what I mean? So the thing about the ship that I didn't love is that there's not a lot for him to do within his age range. And that's super interesting because when they announced these things on the ship, I was so excited because right. the, there's a specific area for kids his age. So the, the Mickey and Minnie's captain's deck was geared towards his age, kind of. It was six months to three years old. Right. Which is such like a weird variety that's huge yeah it's like a weird variety of ages so in order to have things for like every age in that range it, like things for them to do it just seems kind of like a weird it seemed weird to me so right. when he played in the playground he was just too big for it right yeah like the slide was very much he was like uh yeah it was just it was not really geared towards three-year-olds and two-year-olds i don't think right <laughs> But he still had fun, but I just, I wish that there was more for him to do. So like with the inflatable obstacle course, we got there thinking that he'd be able to do it because in the app, it said all ages. For the, that's where it was confusing. Yeah. So all ages for the hero zone is labeled as all ages, mm -hmm. but I didn't check, like click more info on the Incredit course gotcha. to see if it had a height requirement. I just saw Incredit course in the hero zone, which is all ages. So we got there and it, he wasn't, he was like an inch too short for it, which was a bummer. So um, that was kind of like a meh moment. And then there was something else. Oh, the, they don't have golf. So that was something that Jackson really loved on the fantasy is that they have mini golf. And he kept asking, can I play golf? Can I play golf? And we kept, you know, having to tell him like, there's no golf on this ship, unfortunately. But then they did have a golf event right. in the hero zone. And then we found out it was for 12 and up. So there was just all these like neat things that I think Jackson would have really liked to do, but they, he just wasn't old enough to do them. Also the splash pad, like the splash zone, Toy Story's splash zone, mm -hmm. I think was good. It felt brighter than Nemo's Reef. Okay. Because Nemo's Reef has full cover on two sides of it because mm -hmm. it's right up against cabanas. Whereas Toy Story splash zone is out in the open. So the two sides can get sun in there. But it's still covered. It's like still it's, covered. Yeah but it felt brighter in there. And so I don't know why, but Nemo's Reef feels more inviting, be a little bit more shaded, mm. which is strange. Okay. It's just like a strange uh, mental thing. Right, okay. And they also had a um, like a little pool for the kids that were in the same age range that could go into the splash zone. They had this little, I wanna say it was maybe like, I don't even think it was a foot deep. Oh yeah, because he was sitting down in it. Yeah, so I want to say it was maybe like six or eight inches deep. Right. But it was perfect because he could still splash around. You could go in there if you were somebody who wasn't a strong swimmer. He, he had a good time in there. So it was nice that he had like a dedicated pool and also the splash zone. Right. And that was called Trixie's something. It was themed to Trixie. Who's Trixie? Trixie's the Triceratops from Toy Story. Oh, okay. That was my big takeaway that was like one of the the more negative things for me is that I just wish that they had more things for Jackson to do. He still had a great time. Like he had tons of fun just roaming around the ship, but I, I just wish there was more things for him to do. Another thing really quick that I want to mention is one of the coolest parts about the kids club on the ship is that there's a slide that you can take from one deck to the next deck down, right. which is the entrance to the, the Oceaneers kids club. And this slide is in the main area, the grand, hall like the lobby like yeah the, as soon as you walk into the ship straight ahead of you is the entrance to the slide so every time we would walk by it it was so tempting for jackson he's like oh i can go down the slide and i had to keep telling him you can't you're not allowed to unless it's an open house because you're not old enough to go into the oceaneers club but on open house day you can go down the slide for about an hour it was open from like eight to nine and so to have to keep walking by it to get to dinner or to breakfast or to wherever we're going. See the princesses, all the meet and greets are in there. Yeah, it was just, it was hard to keep telling him like, oh, you can only go down the slide if it's an open house. You know, he doesn't understand that. Right. So it was just like one more thing that he couldn't do. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was another thing that I was just kind of like, oh, I, I wish they had maybe covered that area somehow. Right. Or put it in a, a more hidden location. Right. I don't know. All but right. when he did go down it, he loved it. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So I know that I've been mentioning um, some negative points. And I just want to, because I just, I just want to, you know, 
tell you my honest opinion of the things that I loved and didn't love. So the things that I did love on the ship is the rooms. I loved how bright everything was. Yeah. I loved how bright the room was. I loved how it was. Because the, the thing that I love about the other ships is that it feels like a kind of more like nostalgic, like an old timey cruise like the round windows yeah, like it feels very yeah. yeah it feels very like a traditional cruise ship whereas some of the other cruise lines i feel like don't really look like a cruise super ship. square and boxy and... yeah so the thing that i loved about this though is that although it, it had a different feeling than the fantasy and the dream it was so bright it was so beautiful everything was was obviously so new and fresh i, I thought that was really great i loved the look of the rooms the the art just everything felt really Bright and right. inviting. Yeah, it really did. And uh, another thing, though, that I really loved was one of my most favorite memories that we had on the ship was our brunch at Enchante. Yeah, it was really and, good. And, like, the food was so good. I keep thinking about that chicken. The look of the restaurant was amazing. I loved that all of the tables looked over at the ocean. Our brunch was just a nice way for us to spend, like, a nice day together. Although it was an additional charge... It was, I think it was worth it for me. The quality of the food, the quality of the service. I mean, it was awesome. I had a great time. I yeah. loved it. So. And here are some of my negatives. <laughs> uh, I thought that there were a lot of dead ends. It wasn't mm -hmm. as like easy to like, I'm on deck four. I walked the entire way around deck four. I'm on deck five. I walked the entire way around deck five. You kept running into dead ends or stairs or something like that. And mm -hmm. I didn't like that. And I also didn't like how tight things felt. Mm. There were a lot of corridors, not a lot of like external light, not a lot of like windows looking out onto the, like the natural scenery around you. And Marceline Market was the the tightest place I've ever been in. You're always passing by somebody trying to get like around a post or you're like you're trying to figure out if you're going to put your butt towards them or your front towards them. Yeah. And like squeeze, let me just squeeze right by you. Let me just scoot right by you here. But I did like like a positive about Marceline Market. I really loved the decor. I really loved the the look of it. I loved how it... So I like cabanas, but cabanas definitely doesn't feel as nice. Right. Mar Marceline Market just feels more... Like, even though it's their buffet, quick serve restaurant, it, it still felt like a nice sit down restaurant. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I liked that everything was like a little more upscale even though it was still the buffet, you know, right. quick serve. Right. Yeah. And one last thing that I really, really loved about the ship was the entertainment, like the entertainment cast members. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. That was like one of the big highlights for me on the ship was getting to see the shows, the Broadway style shows and getting to talk to, we talked to so many of the cast members that were part of the entertainment team. And you could just tell that they absolutely loved what they were doing. They were giving like 300% to their roles and they were, it was so crazy to me to see, they would, you would see one person, you know, outside of the theater and then you would see them in the pirate show and then you would see them at the kids club and then you would see them here. Like they were yeah, doing trivia everywhere. Yeah. Like they just work so hard yeah. and they do such a great job and they just keep going. So after your cruise, you think that like, oh, they probably get a break. No, there's another cruise. <laughs> like, right. So they just work so incredibly hard. And I just think that they, I, I hope that they know that they're appreciated. Right. So like just fantastic entertainment on the cruises. Amazing. Definitely a highlight. So here are the things that I absolutely loved about The Wish. Okay. The dining was amazing. The food was better than any other cruise ship we've ever been on. This is the smoothest Disney cruise ship we have ever been on. There were times that I forgot we were out sailing the ocean. A lot of people that we talked to were like, oh, I just feel like I'm on a, I'm in a hotel. Right. And it felt more like a hotel because of the corridors and because it was less open, which a lot of people didn't like that about The Wish, but it just gave it a more like of a hotel feel. Right. Yeah. I love the Aqua Mouse. Mm -hmm. I love the amount of pools. Yeah. I love that they could close, the, or they just needed to close off one small pool to have the stage yes. rather than close off one giant main pool. Mm -hmm. So people could still be in the pools when the, the sail away party was happening, mm -hmm. which is amazing. I liked the openness of the, the main deck and like the upper decks. I, oh, the lobby, that is the, the tender lobby to get off the ship at the ports of call, better than any of the other cruise ships by far it was just a lot bigger there was more space for... it was taller 
Oh, is that what it was? That's the biggest thing uh, for me because they're like all, if you'll notice, if you've ever been on a cruise, a Disney cruise, all of the metal detectors have a padded top because they're all short. So this cruise, they put in full size metal detectors. Yeah. And so, and you don't have to, the, the metal detectors for your bags are off to the side. So when you come on, you go to the side and you go around rather than like having to wait outside the ship yeah, the, to get in. I felt like it was definitely more efficient and yes. you weren't outside in the sun for like as long, which was nice. So what what is your ranking for the Disney Wish overall though? What do you mean? Like of the, of the five ships that are out there now, mm -hmm. where do you put the Disney Wish? I already told you. Number two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where do you put it? Number two. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. for me, I think it definitely is fantasy is my number one and the Wish is my number two. Right. I think the dream is my number three, but that's only because we haven't been on the magic or the wonder in so long. We took the magic, I think the magic, or it might have been the wonder, when we went on our like two day cruise to Mexico from San Diego. Yeah, that was the wonder, I think. Was it the wonder? Yeah. So, and we were, it was such a short cruise. We didn't have a lot of time to like explore. So maybe once we go on the magic or the wonder again in the future, our ranking will change. But for right now, it's. Fantasy, wish, dream for me. Right. Yeah. Which is interesting because there are some negative things about the wish. But it's still your number two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's negative things about all the ships. Right. Yeah, but I think it is my number two for sure. Yeah. So, all in all, it was a fantastic trip. Like, I really did enjoy the wish. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to go back on it. Now that I, like, know my way around, I feel like I'm, like, going to walk in yeah. and be like, hmm, hmm, no, hmm. Yeah, like I know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. So we do have another cruise on the wish coming up and i think that that'll be a more relaxed because some people were saying that this cruise series felt like so much yeah and i think because it was a new ship there was there was so many new things to do and so many new things to see that we really tried to pack every single day with as much activity as we could because we were just trying to figure out the ship and do all the things that we had planned. So right. it was just, it was a lot. So I think this next cruise that we do on the wish will be a little bit more relaxed, right? More, a little more chill, a little so, more easy breezy. I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we'll see when the time comes, right? but <laughs> so all in all a fantastic time and I cannot wait to go on it again. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, and now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.